Okay, I came across this meme. It made me laugh and inspired me to get heavy. Right, I'm getting heavy. The station forged decimators have a heavy bolter, an auto cannon, and mortars, but no las cannon. Also, I wanted to add a second member of the team. The files have a spotter on the ground or an auto cannon dude, bringing more ammo. So I'm going to delve into the Grimguard acolytes for more options. First up, the las cannon problem, because I like the heavy hitting power. It's been serving me rather well, something that hits like an artillery shell at point blank range. It worked wonders against enemy big fellas like Angron and enemy vehicles and tanks. Anywho, the auto cannon might be a good base. So I first tried taking the las cannon option from one of my armored sentinels, chopped off the auto cannon barrel and glued on the las cannon. It looks okay, but it's still obviously an auto cannon base because of the ammo boxes. If everything you're doing is bad, I want you to know this. I could disguise them a little to look more like batteries, but let's see what else I can find. So let's try again. I found a free file online with oodles of las cannon options, link in the description. Some with optics, some with more barrels, shorter barrels, longer barrels, all sorts, damn, spoilt for choice. They also had a bunch of shields for them, and again, all sorts of options to choose from. So I printed up a few to see which ones looked better. They have a small frame on the side of the gun to accept the changeable battery power source, which I liked. But then they came out a little small. So I just reprinted at 125% much better. First, some assembly. But before that, what's actually the name for some of this stuff? So I can refer to the parts correctly. Cool, this should help clarify things as I continue. Add the wheels to the bottom carriage and then the trowel and spades. A little dab of glue, slot them on and then spread them out into a nice V formation. Cropping them up a little on some spare weapons so they don't sag or flatten and leave them to dry. The upsized las cans fresh from the printer and the alcohol, a soak of warm water to soften them up and they all pop free of the supports nice and easy. Once they are dry, a quick blast of UV to cure them and we are ready to go with assembly. Glue the batteries into the las cannon support frame and leave them to dry. Add the heavy bolter to another carriage and the gunner that comes with the files. Add glue to his shoulders and to the connection of the firing panel to the gun and then position him in place. And then glue the bolt belt into place and do the same for the auto cannon. Glue the gun to the carriage and then set up the gunner. Now, the las cannon needs a vertical support strut and for this I'm chopping off a couple of short lengths of barrel from the armored sentinel las cannons I'm not using. Basically just a couple of short pipes. Drop in some glue and then add the strut and then mount the las cannon on top of it. And while these dry I will continue to play with solid and stable models. On to the second team members. From the acolytes folder I snagged the pointing arm, the pistol arm, the shovel arm and the arm with the sword. I glued them together and they came out, well, really well. These guys look much more animated, each giving the order to fire with some gusto, indicating with a weapon or tool or just pointing to a target. So, sorry, the actual decimator figure, the one lugging a fresh ammo box across the battlefield to the weapon amid the waves of enemy forces is out for now. If I print more, he'll see battlefield service, but until then, onwards we go. First. Using a pointing arm and an arm holding the las gun to his shoulder by the sling, I glued these to a gunnery body, giving me a guy that is tapping out a firing solution on the las cannon control panel. Flipping the las cannon upside down and supporting them with some paint pots, I added a drop of super glue and placed the shield into place. Off to the hiking boot box. A strip of sellotape stretched along a ruler and taped down at each end, giving me a nice sticky surface to place the models to so they can all get a squirt of Citadel Chaos Black Primer from every direction. Once dry, a brush of Abaddon Black all over everything. Then breaking out the Iron Hands base, get a tiny bit on the dry brush and then some delicate swipes in from the wheel treads and on the guns and the trails and carriage and the shield, getting a nice brushed and blackened steel look. 
dry brush the ammo belt, the boxes, and other miscellaneous items. Okay, to the troops. Grabbing the Thunderhawk blue, and I began dry brushing across the coats, the ripples in the fabric, the webbing, the boots, and the gear. Then, Dawnstone, and a lighter touch over all the areas that got the blue. And then, the Iron Hand steel to dry brush the helmet, the armor, the weapons and tools, and the backpacks. Then, Corn Red on the pauldrons, followed by a nice wash of Caraburg Crimson to create some nice shadows. Now for the fun part. Heavy weapon bases are now 50mm, so I need to position things so they don't look too crowded. I switched things around a few times, trying to get the best for each setup. When I got the right setup, which looks pretty good, then glue everything down and start adding a squirt of Elmer's that I painted around with an old brush, and then I sprinkled on the red rock sand. And once this was dry, breaking out the Cadian flesh tone to give the bottom of the wheels, the boots, the hems of the coats, and some other lower areas of dry brush to simulate dust and dirt, collecting on the teams as it is kicked up by these ferocious weapons. And then add some army painter swamp tufts for withered desert vegetation, and then back to the box for a blast of varnish to lock everything in. So here are my heavy weapons teams, Death Corps of Kree, a gunner and a spotter loader, working together to pummel the foe with withering fire. A pair of las cannon with armored shields to protect against incoming fire, one has a trooper activating the control panel, the other hoists their sword to give the command to fire. The other spotter just points and keeps his las gun at the ready. A mighty auto cannon where the spotter embraces his inner Krieg and indicates with their entrenching tool and a lethal heavy bolter, also with a shield to defend the crew as they unleash the Emperor's Wrath into the foe. 